Columbia County Sheriff's Office is trying to identify human remains found in a woman's backyard. Amy Reed joins us now in studio to show us how they were discovered. Amy? This happened last Sunday, and since then, the Sheriff's Office has been working with other agencies to figure out who these remains belong to and how they ended up where they did. My first emotion was, this, this has got to be a joke. Like, did you put, I thought maybe my husband was playing a trick on me and he put it there or something like that. Last Sunday was supposed to be just normal routine, shuffling through a box in her backyard. The mulch was, you know, was kind of mounded and I just went to kick a box over and it was just right there. What she saw was a row of human teeth from a partially descended wisdom tooth up to the canine, still connected to the bone. I just didn't know what to do. I was like, I just was kind of, I wasn't understanding, you know, so I just, I literally cried like, oh my gosh, this is not for real, you know. She called police who brought a canine to search the rest of the yard and a nearby construction site. They didn't find anything more, but while the investigation is ongoing, the sheriff's office wants to keep the locations withheld. The sheriff's office also mentioned a continued effort to locate the body of Beth Coots, who went missing in July 2000. Her estranged husband, Dan Coots, was convicted of her murder in 2001, but refused to disclose the location of her body. No one can confirm if these cases are related. The woman the woman who found it thinks it came with the mulch it was found in. I could see if the dogs came home with something or, you know, where, <laughs> but this was just really odd and strange that it just happened to be right there when I turned around. So it was almost like, you know, was I meant to find this? But she hopes whoever the remains are tied to, it can bring peace to the family. Hopefully we find out and hopefully it, it does somebody good. <laughs> We reached out to the Columbia County Sheriff's Office, but they did not get back to us. This woman told us that they told her it could be a while before we get any answers. But in the meantime, if anyone else finds something suspicious, please report it to the Sheriff's Office. Amy, thank you.